Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my first stream of the medium. Um, I was gifted this code by uh, Koch Media and NNE Saga, I believe their tw Twitter handle was. Um, this is the PS5 version, streaming direct from PS5. And uh, let's just get stuck in. There's a continue option because I've played a little bit of the game before, but um, let's just jump straight in. Not the fastest load. It all starts with a dead girl. So this is um Oh, I forgot her name already. Uh, Marianne Nightmare. It's all very cool. It's very um, invocative of the sort of uh, Silent Hill cutscene um, effect. Effects? That's not what I was going for. Style, that's the one. Oh well, that's a shame. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. Moon, the scent of pines. So and the music is a joint venture between Akira Yamaoka from uh, Silent Hill and. Sorry, I'm going to have to Google his name because unfortunately I cannot remember it. I apologize to that uh, composer. It always uh, felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself so, it really happened. This scar from that. Okay, so I doubt I'm going to pronounce his name right, but it's Arcadius. Part of me I could never fully uh, understand. Rykovsky? Uh, well, or something? Um, they've done the an incredible job with the music here. No wonder people used to think I was strange. No. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. So, the game's set in Poland. I kind of wish there was a Polish voice option as well, because I like to have that extra immersiveness. Just the things he did every day. Especially with the visual style they've gone for. The scenery looks excellent. But looking through his stuff was Also apologies for talking over the cutscene. I know that's taboo in some I cases. A moment to pull myself together. So in case you missed the context, um she's returned to her her home, uh, the place where she grew up, uh, to attend to her I was adopted ready. father's um, I just had to find his special tie clip. funeral arrangements. As you can probably see, it's quite like an old-style adventure game, but obviously instead of point and click, you're um, using active 3D control. Ah yes, I remember November 2nd, All Souls Day. And November 5th isn't surgery, it's uh, Guy Fawkes Night. 
Maybe that's why he died. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Kitty cat. Jack's room. Let me pat to you. It's like he never... Damn it. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. He seems like he was quite a nice man. Also, I've just realized that her shadow isn't showing properly here. She just has feet shadows. <laughs> I didn't notice that last time, so I assume this is uh, not uh, an intentional thing. Also, apologies, I need to adjust the brightness on my side. It's rather dark. Probably about that. That's about right. <laughs> um, so weirdly, on the PS5 version, they've mapped this movement also to use the gyro control, which is amusing, if a little bit off-putting sometimes, when you just shift your hand Jack and suddenly she's staring at the wall. The solidarity movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Oh, yeah. She's looking for his type in. Okay. Let's do this the other way. Behind the clock. There you are. It's a nice little type in. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Did she just threaten the cat? Weird to be back in my old room. <laughs> so many memories. In a way, the environment design yeah. and I used to have a thing for sort of camera angles remind me a lot why, of. Really. I guess oh, they just called, used to uh, make me happy. And Siberia. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. And in many ways, this game plays very similar to similarly to them as well. In terms of control. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Is that a picture of Matthew, or is Matthew the one in the back? I'm kind of confused by what she means when you say that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't see a spirit. Unless it's the boy in the back who's harder to see. Hmm. So I think this game came out first on the Xbox One. No, not Xbox One. Xbox Series S and X. Um, I don't know if those versions used any um, I used to ray get tracing a lot or of not, these. but I feel to like me, the they were like doesn't. I could be wrong about Badges that. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Arkan, we must request that you attack. <laughs> I can't even read smoothly today. That's how today's going, by the way. We must request you attend the next parent-teacher meeting, as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realise this behaviour is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioural problem we've informed you about, we believe it's time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, Mr. Principal. I know it doesn't say that, but... Why is it all schools use this format where they, like, print, but then they have, like, a actual pen signature over the bottom names? I get that it's to prove it's real, but... My it always looks a bit funny. My family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. 
So when she was three, she was in the hospital with 35% of her body covered in second degree burns. It was a fairly large percentage for such a young child. Having fixed camera angles always feels quite funny with full 3D uh, directional control. I feel like they should always do um, Looks tank controls flourishing. as much as people complain about them. Ah, dinner is served. Cat food. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Well, he's a nicely rendered cat. I can't believe it's all still here. Photography. Oh, Jack. In Resident Evil 2, this would be a safe room. Um, right. How to develop photos. Eliminate the photo for five seconds. Dip in multi-grade. Dip in stop. Dip in fixer. All for three seconds. So, I guess I forgot about this one. How can she even tell I it's a photo? It, it literally just looks like a blank paper. I was eliminate five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I can't actually read what the bottles are, but I assume it's in order. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, he's coming up. And one, two, three. Is the last photo I took of you, Jess. If it isn't Jess, Jess, <laughs> Jess Shit. Bevos. Apparently, I can't even say his name right when I'm making a joke. <laughs> he does look a bit um, Bezosy, though. Wonder who he is. Wonder who his face model was. Symbolic funeral of the Sierra's a mine. Wow, this is a long article. Miners from the Sierra's a mine came to work today, as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black castica, cast it, casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, say the members of the Sierra's a mine rescue committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. The casket is meant for the Fistula Coal Company. They added, the miners have announced that they will also come to work tomorrow. They will refuse to accept that the Sierra's mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest outside the company headquarters in Chaitichi? <laughs> if you can't tell, I don't know any Polish. Begin uh, building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day, they added another layer of bricks. They are, there are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. And then stability in post-Cold War Poland. About Bill Clinton. I would also read this, but given my uh, falling over words, I will... Hopefully I've had it long enough on screen that you can pause and read it if you wish. Interesting. 1984. Is that one by Orwell? About all the surveillance stuff? I think it might be. If not, then I apologise and we lived upstairs someone can tell me what book Jack's it is. Funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Hmm. 
Actually, it seems like quite a nice little place to live. I know that the weather in the game is a constant grey and rain, but I mean that's basically what I get Jack here in Scotland. So taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. So if you couldn't tell, she's been able to communicate with spirits, and other people don't seem to like that. Which I guess is fair if you don't really want a message from someone who's died. Jackson, the prep Probably be handy if she wanted to work in the police though. So this is her dad's funeral home. Fairly intense looking place. <laughs> mm, someone's. Here it is. The key to the prep room. Prepare Jack for his final journey. I like their little uh, squeaky boot uh, footstep sound. Must have been a hard one to work into um, a natural sound effect. So I've always had a weird affinity for horror games. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to like play Resident Evil and um, Silent Hill. I found Silent Hill was too scary for a long time, um, as you do. Not sure and uh, for this. that that will to play survival horror has never really stopped. Looking forward to returning to a Fatal Frame when that resurfaces soon. Must say, I wouldn't want to be the one uh, dressing up the body of a, a loved one when they were dead. I got your special clip. No. I think Where's it would upset me too much in real life. Ah, we can combine items. Good. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But... Am I? Jack. At least this death is less unpleasant than uh, Jack and Titanic. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. <gasps> I mean, that's, that's one way to put people on edge.
What the hell? Guess you felt it too, huh? This music's really cool. I like it. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. So much for aging gracefully, eh? Where is that thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some I imagine the surgery that was mentioned the earlier in the game oh, no, no, was no. something I've to do with so the brain, work, given yeah, that okay, his spirit has a big chunk of his skull. Uh, it's not important. You, for Jack. That's why he doesn't remember. Crying. He does really seem like he was quite a nice man. Also, she's most people would give anything to have that opportunity. Really, quite a good actor. To say all the things that were left unsaid, but it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is... 
is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Well, Please. Thomas seems to know the something. Light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? I suppose in a way he was saying that we are his sunshine, his only sunshine. <laughs> But yeah, the, the music and atmosphere in this game is really rather good. Some footage of old Poland. Ah, that was the place where her dad lived. Square. Yeah, so and the main difference went. between this one I'm and the Xbox a hunch. Uh, version of the game is a call from a complete stranger. Uh, controller support. But so I the adaptive triggers make sure that running and isn't always easy and uh, get lots of nice immersive felt like rumbles and bumps him. and noises. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. If the roads were that empty, to be fair, I would quite like to try driving a motorbike. It's something I've never done before, but I still tickles my fancy sometimes. I do wonder what Blooper Team are going to do next. There's all those rumours that they might be working with Konami and all sorts. I'd be curious to see what they come up with. Her little, like, leather jacket with the fur on the inside reminds me of Leon in Resident Evil 4. And yet, also, her um, overall outfit reminds me a bit of, um... Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel oh, there was, was that something show, the, the crime show that I really liked? Was it Unforgettable or something? Her, her outfit is quite similar to the main character in that show. I can't use insight here for some reason. That's fine. Anyone I'll just home? Have to look around. I guess not. Niwa Resort. Niwa says hello. You love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for the kids. Free art lessons. Lots of families. And the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. I'm going to go with 
Freddy. What the? Hello? Ooh, there's a person. Thomas? Hmm. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. <laughs> oh, I do like that. I like how they didn't didn't make it that I can't push through to keep making the noise. Sometimes you need that. Just releases the tension a little bit. What's the run button? Oh, I can't run just now. That's what it is. She's not in a hurry just now. You want to keep me out, Neva? They're going to have to do better than that. Releasing her inner uh, Lara Croft there. Make your way to Not a whole resort. lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government owned vacation resort. Oh, I can run Until there. one Good. day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born the Neva so the Massacre. Something the details lots of were always fuzzy. Crazed um, workers, ancient curses. Maybe two buildings? You know, maybe the three? usual. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of rumours about this place. I think there's one about like a, a massacre or something. I did quite religiously watch the, the trailers and stuff while building up to playing this game. <laughs> Indeed, the guy who asked her to come really could have left the door open for her. But maybe, maybe he was actually trying to keep her out. Just accidentally. It was actually a butt dial. He was talking to someone else the whole time. Yeah. What's this old thing here? Anyway, what have we here? Oh, what a mess. People can like be such bastards days. sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. In memory of the victims of World War II, for daughters and sons of the land. Here they rest buried as they fell to remind us of that the whole earth is their grave. So it feels like a kind of weirdly grim way to say that. As though it's not really trying to... I don't know. I've been to a lot of war memorials and never seen never never quite heard it say said that way. Uh, it's a child's ball. I, heard, I saw a lot of people saying that the character rendering in this game wasn't very good, and uh, while I can see that hello. it's obviously not always super fancy, it never struck me as being bad. Uh, oh, is it just the food stuff is showing me? It feels like almost every game has some sort of insight or hunter vision or detective vision these days. And I mean I don't fully begrudge it because I used to hate digging around in all the little corners and clicking every pixel looking for one last item that we've missed uh, in some old games but What's it does this? feel a bit like odd somehow. To just be like, oh yes, here's everything you need to see all highlighted for you. Also, when you hold it down on the PS5, the controller rumbles the whole time. And I, I feel like it doesn't need to rumble the whole time you're doing that. I feel like this might just drain the battery. Maybe I'm just too cynical. I, I can't seem to look past that, huh? Looks like an old fort. Hmm. Might be my way in. The area design actually for this sort of stuff feels a bit like Resident Evil Zero. 
Well, no, is it zero I'm thinking of? Maybe it's zero. Or like the garden in Resident Evil 1. Sorry, I'll probably be comparing this game to a lot of other games, even though it's definitely its own thing and it deserves its, uh, its own merits without being compared to things. Something happened here. Yes, something did happen here, Marianne. The ceiling collapsed. And now we've got to wriggle through. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Seems like it would be kind of awful that it always starts with a headache. Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned hmm. that the hard way. Dead. Oops. Okay, nothing hidden over here. Oh, actually, yes there was. In the spirit world. Hmm. A picture of her with the ball. The other worlds in this game is the place felt old kind of and insane. In it feels like some sort of weird figures, I guess. Nightmare. A thousand years of history based on doesn't like... just happen. It's paid for. Oh, there's like a pain but through even this in the stuff. The deepest feels like darkness. This. I've forgotten his name. Light can linger. It's not Dali, Lonely. but there you go. There's a painter's Fragile. name to satisfy the quota. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying a soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? I remember when, like, sidling as an animation started coming into games with like Wind Waker and stuff and nobody ever quite cracked how you in slipped case, into that animation. I figured I could use it. Energy it is easy as just for having a prompt right? but some games you just have to kind of like mash yourself into the wall. That would be cold R2. Oh, so that worked. Okay, and that powers up Good the gate. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they fun. were, they did come in handy sometimes. It's funny to think that the world splitting is the reason that this game was never last gen. Because from a viewer's so perspective, it doesn't feel like it would be in two worlds, that intense. But never really living in either. But then again, I can't really see my PC being able to run it very well. Caution, fire hazard. I mean, some people call me that. <laughs> also, apologies, the earlier you come into the, the stream, the more awkward I am. And it oh, should gradually settle. What happened to you? Ah, uh, someone killed the deer. That deer. Nice creatures. Near us, there's a big field full of them. Which is, I think must be quite rare, unless you live deep in the country, usually. I'm surprised to see one so close to town. Uh... 
What way am I meant to go here? Uh, so let's set the footprints to the left. Do they? Uh, uh, I'll try going right and see if there's anything over here. Okay, it's just a thing. What is this? What the hell? Oh, it's a monkey toy. The symbol monkeys. Nothing to investigate though. It looks like a grave. The situation we're in is somewhat grave, I would think. Oh, nothing over here. The little jog that Marianne does is quite amusing. Like, it's not necessarily unrealistic or anything, but it just feels very uh, bouncy yet slow. Ah, have we got to the hotel now? Pretty intense little uh, I've seen others like of spirit it, lightning. But never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. It's a good camera angle, this one. I like it. It feels like the kind of thing angle I would end up taking a photo from. Although, usually it'd be of somewhere that's less. Dilapidated. I think around the edges of the complex, I wonder. Oh, she can outrun the camera. <laughs> Reminds me of Sonic 2, where you could just, um, in Emerald Hill, spin right past the camera, and in Chemical Plant Zone, actually. Where's the regular light coming from? Sorry, I was being nosy, having a look out the window. Um. Right, I suppose we should really just work out how to go inside, huh? Broad horizons. Handheld mobile foot. What? That'll never happen. Handheld mobile phones. What's next? Handheld gaming devices? Actually, did the Game Boy predate mobile phones? Well, handheld mobile phones. I suppose there were mobile phones that were hey, big chunky enough. battery boxes. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. <laughs> I wonder if anyone still drives an old model of car like this. My love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means? More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Rekovic said that he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. F. Mr. F wrote a lot of postcards. Hope you don't mind if... Oops. Circle skips dialogue. But it also ends dialogue. Not much here. Although... This could come oh, in handy. Beautiful. A screwdriver for all of our troubles. Ow! Shit! 
What my the controller hell? peaked. <laughs> yes, who beeped the horn? Hmm. Nobody. Just a jump scare for the heck of it. That's fair. I I can I can appreciate the hustle. What does this say? The inauguration of summer 1969. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers Party, Comrade Vladislaw Gom Gomulka, <laughs> honored Krakow and took part in an official inauguration of the Newer Resort. The new center is the Socialist Joy and Recre- is- wait, the new center of the Socialist Joy and Recreation. Working class of the Lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature. The main building and lodge area are comfortable yet simple. As simple... Simple as simple. Oh, comfortable yet simple. As simple are, are the socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect's future manager and committed party member, Mr. Rekovich, without whom the neighbor resort would be impossible to design, construct, and build. And then the 15th anniversary of the establishing of Publish. Publish? Ah, yes, the land of Publish. With its Publish people. Hold out and move to find the echo. No, there's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter I like how I can keep spinning the object. Even the objects hmm. here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images feelings left behind for some reason the the glowing kind of scar on the object reminds me of harry potter's scar in that one scene in the movie where it's glowing and they zoom into it to show you the title card and yes i know speaking about harry potter can be considered taboo these days but it's the only reference i could think of when i saw that object hello anybody in there Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Or it doesn't. What if there's not another way and we just have to call it quits here and go home? So oh, well, that worked. It's a surprisingly good handle. Heist of 1999. I think I'm in here. Nope. Just a dumpster. I feel like we don't call them dumpster in the UK, but I honestly don't remember the name. Maybe we do. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. <laughs> I wonder what's in this to make it this heavy. Also, yeah, we're currently following this um, children's drawings. Which are showing us exactly where we need to go. Ah, this is our way in. The broken window. Reminds me of when you first get to the um, apartment complex in Silent Hill 2. It's maybe slightly less scary than that, but it's still very uh, strong atmosphere. What have we here? Oh, I don't think it ended well for this person.
That was a lot of screams. So it's true. The Neva massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. On a side note, this person had quite nice shoes. Okay. Where are we going? Hello? Ah, the flashing Anyone? light at the gate is probably a sign. Thomas? You there? News information and practical advice for a modern lady. <laughs> Travel in style. Travel in comfort. Travel on the bus. It doesn't really ring true for uh, modern buses. They're not usually very comfortable. The duckling? That's not a duckling. It's a dragon. <laughs> Does it look quite a fun magazine, though? And we have a map. I think. The day room is the green one. Okay. Clocks from... Is it across Europe? I can't actually read what's written underneath them, unfortunately. A torch. Thomas? I feel like she's a lot more jumpy than I am. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. But for whom does the bell toll? That was heavily graffitied, whatever that was. Oh, I mean the guest book, not whatever that was. I know what that is. <gasps> now we can play ball. Into the other world. Lovely. Hi there. Oh, hi. You startled me. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. I'm sadness. That's not the woman. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I know what I happened to her. Um... a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going. All the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. 
but they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? <gasps> yes. Oh, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help She just wants first. someone to play ball with. I dare say, this split perspective is really effective in cutscenes. It's hard to watch both, of course, but Hi. it gives you a nice An glimpse elevator. of uh, what's Might as happening well see in if both. It works. Hmm, should I be using insight in them to look for the little? Uh, I've already forgotten their names. The cracks in time. Echoes? Is that what they were called? Oh, sorry. Promotion. Oh, that's another one from F. I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. A place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever, F. This is where this person had never seen their husband's name written down, and they're just like, who's F? <laughs> Vivian. Oh yeah, sorry, I meant to be working out to get upstairs, right? <laughs> Using the elevator, probably. And let's go to the first floor first. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. The whole first floor, second floor thing. Oh, shit. And if you guys. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and. Okay, the elevator. But. We need a uh, power best. source. An out and of body experience. There. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. It's pretty cool, this other world, but I still don't really know what it's meant to be. It's kind of fleshy. Okay, Mary. And almost like now get your ghostly ass back and power up that Like elevator. it looks like all the people have mold on them. Old circle to return to my body. No, not a chance. I'm gonna go and power up this thing. Unless I die, in which case maybe maybe I should return to my body. <laughs> Ah, freed myself without having to reset at all. Nice. Right. Okay, we have a mouth. The art of internationally acclaimed painter Richard Tarkovsky. I want to be a um, critically acclaimed pr printer. <laughs> painter. Okay. 
Here we go. Okay. So floor two. Where did that where did she go? go? Oh, I've been hit with the sadness. Suave. Can he move with the sadness? Oh, okay. Pardon huh. me. What is that? <gasps> to be fair, I don't really want to get touched by a bug like that either. Not a fan of meaty bugs. Okay. Okay. We have a door here. Okay. And it's locked. Through here. Ah, okay. I have a shield. Her Holy shield shit. reminds me of, um... I didn't even know I could do that. Well, Gandalf's Lord of the Rings, for one. You shall not pass. Ah. The key. Right. So we can get back into that room. But are the bugs blocking us, I wonder? Oh, yeah, that sounds like they are. And I don't have any shield cover. Oh, it's okay. They're behind the door. Check this room. Okay, there's nothing. Sadness? Oh, I can look through the hole though. Lish. Okay, nothing here. Oh wait, I forgot I wasn't traveling with my my physical body. Just gradually ghosting out of existence. Actually, is there anything down at the end of the corridor? Like I didn't accidentally fry myself there. Oh, ah, okay, we're blocked gross. in the spirit world. It looks like I didn't flesh. even look at the spirit world there, so apologies for wasting our time. <laughs> Playing this with headphones on is pretty unusual. The, the sound design is good. But I'm not really a fan of bugs flying around my ears, so... Oh, 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 we have an echo. Yes, I'm working on it. Yes, I know, I just... Yes, I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Ugh, that voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Gives me shivers. Hmm. I wonder who's voice that Looks like the only way. Great. Is there a floor right there? No. In neither world. Okay. Pop down into the hole. Have an earthquake. This room, it feels cold. Memories of grief, mm. loneliness. Someone's been ripping up tissue paper. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. For Anna Rostovsky. Depression, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition. Treated with electroshock. Well, that's a shame, because you know electroshock don't work. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky. You shouldn't. Oh, Tarkovsky was the artist. Please. I believe. It's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. 
in the post -tick. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Or is it a real happy memory? Maybe it's an unhappy happy memory. We'll go back here. I can hear something whisper. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Useless old hag. Why would he care any more than the others? <laughs> okay, so it's she has more like than her. grief. More than despair. This letter. She was depressed about this letter. Dear Ursula. You're probably wondering why I would write this letter instead of expressing myself directly. The reason, I'm afraid, is painfully simple. I am writing this because I am a coward. Because I couldn't bring myself to look you in the eye and say what is meant to be said. What must be said. Oh, Ooh, why is it doing that? Scrolling back up by itself. No. Stay. Uh, because the mere thought of breaking the heart of someone so delicate so fragile is simply more than I can bear. Ursula, my dearest Ursula, these past few months have brought joy to my heart. To know you are there for me, to feel our friendship blossom, and yet that is all it can be. Friendship. Close. Pure. True. But never more. Please try to understand. Being this close, this exposed, to someone has never been easy for me. Life and its struggles have left me changed damaged in ways you couldn't possibly comprehend. You deserve someone to hold you, to share life's joys and sorrows. How could I be that, or how I wish I could be that person, but I'm not. Words cannot express my regret, as I know, deep in my heart, this marks the end of our friendship. Please forgive me, forever your friend, R.T. Isn't that the Irish YouTuber? Uh, right, where's next? Uh, what's out here? Oh, another flesh ball. Oh, shit. This is falling apart. Looks like I'm in for another dive. Oh, God. I hate this. In for another dive, and I've left my wetsuit at home. Okay, there's another fragmented thing in here. An empty thing. Nothing. Ooh, the blood's spilling on the floor. <laughs> and who, may I ask, was that? Could that have been F? Wow. Ah. This thing isn't a razor, it's And that's how we cut Shame. the blockages. Regret. Hmm. I got a trophy. Nice. Um, oh, okay, I can't cut it from this side. But I can cut it from this side. Mmm, nice and squishy in my ears. Yeah, that was disturbingly satisfying. Okay, now I can walk through this without being blocked. That's good. Useful. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. Ah, so this bowl has something to do with them. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess. Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man. 
Tarkovsky. He ended up as her patient? Cool. The tables turned on him then. He broke her heart and then had to be looked after by her. Anything in the real life bathroom? No. There's blood in the other one. Oh yeah, I should probably have said trigger warning. Who knows what the content's gonna be like, so just uh be wary. If you don't like something then chill out for a bit and come back. I won't be offended. There. Now it's strong enough. Okay, so now I have another spirit blast. Ah, this is why. Like to a Actually, I like that effect. It's quite satisfying. Just the little of the bugs exploding into flames. I do not recommend setting fire to bugs in real life. It's quite mean. But in video games, yes. Okay, so I can move that. Is there anything else? Hanging around. Nope. Nothing else to see here. Then move it. Oh, okay. I can only push. I can't pull. And then we can go through here. Uh, oh wait, yeah, this is the corridor we were in before. But now we can slice through this. Looks like there's a guala bugs behind it again as well. So it feels like I need to... Yeah, I need to drag this in the right direction, otherwise it uh, goes slowly. So even that has a fair bit of interactivity. The controller does a lot when you run through these. Oh, there was a room there, but I kind of want to see if there's anything at the end of the corridor. No. Welcome to the spirit world only. I really want to see what's outside. Oh, there was a drawing. It looks like sadness. That's quite interesting. Another drawing. Who's the one with the white hair? Because I actually thought that was Sadness the first time. Not Sadness, uh, Marianne the first time, but I guess it's not. It's almost complete. The main building turned out better than expected. Now it's just a matter of finishing up the less obvious parts of the resort. God damn, this place is perfect. Remote. Peaceful. Hidden away from prying eyes. Talk about hiding in plain sight. Took some doing to get... To convince them to let us stay. Luckily, I can be persuasive when I need to. Oh yeah, I think I finally got it. I'll call it... Neva. Old invoices. Outdated documents. Wonder why someone put them out here. Maybe they were in the way, Marianne. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's another very long. Note. Okay, so the, there was a fort. 1945 against German forces. Oh, okay, so it has like a bit about, um, in the past, the fort was 
in a battle, but this time all the sparks and lights are fireworks hailing the the opening of Neva. Let the site of a victorious struggle against forces of evil become a place of respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Hmm. They're doing a lot of uh, nice set buildings that's making this place feel pretty realistic. Manager, huh? Uh, we found the manager's yeah. office. Oh. Sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this Thomas Rekovich. What? All right. Listen, hun. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? I, I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and all blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! I feel... Oh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one here. Hmm. Sadness? When the creepy child ghost says, maybe we shouldn't be here. Maybe we shouldn't be here. Well, it all hit Thomas me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. His decoration in the spirit world is... It's quite intense. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, hmm. is that the first secretary? They must have had uh -huh. Ooh. Uh, figures. There's oh, gotta be a way to power it up. it up. No matter how much I press it. No, that's fine. I'll try and power it up somehow. Uh what the hell happened here? Someone jotted this here? down recently. Someone jumped on his desk. Three o'clock. Get up. Don't turn off the alarm clock. Three fifteen. Medication. Three thirty. Double check the forest path. Four o'clock. Get to the hotel. Clear out the old papers. Five o'clock. Get on with the research. Develop photos if there's time. Seven o'clock. Double check the office. Books. Nine o'clock. Check up on L. From Death Note. Burn marks. Broken glass and. Is that salt? Hmm. Looks like someone had an argument with this desk and the desk did not win. My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently. To call me. Okay, so this is where Thomas called from in the first place. Oh, that's a crazy power bank on that phone. Look at that. It's got five, five ends. It still works. Ah. The flashlight. Someone's been using it. That'll be handy. Too small to fit a door. He... Anything else in here before I... Oh, I didn't investigate the clock, I could did I? instantly tell there was more to that clock ah. than met the eye. Well, that makes things simpler. There we go. Okay, what does this do? Oh. That's as far as it goes. I like that one where there's a big piece of paper in front of the screen. There. An imprint. Okay. Is that... 
As I moved Sorry, the Mara. clock hand, I realized there. it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. Well, you got to say for yourself, Mr. Ghost. Don't do it. I can't. We must. Oh, not a lot to say, apparently. Let's say this place changed a lot in a short amount of time. I wonder why. And I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, did I not resurrect him enough to Oh no, I did. Wait. I can feel something's wrong. It's coming. What's coming? Let's see what Thomas number three has to say. Shit. I thought I had it this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? Hmm. What is he missing? There. Right. Looks like a so that opens the back room. Any more Thomases here? Ooh, oh, several more. Looks like I'm in for another dive. I gotta check the wire. I need to get stuck in there. And um, with him on that, I wouldn't like to be stuck in a hidden back room either. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here. He has here a little summoning circle side. on the ground. Um, okay. Is there anywhere I can get spirit juice? Maybe some seven up or some cola. Uh, not a sponsor. <laughs> um, a spirit well. Ah, that would be a spirit well. And another Thomas. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so lost yeah. without you. I don't know if I can do this. Enough. Get it together. <laughs> okay. Let's head through here. Did I just waste some of the power? Am I not going to actually have enough power to to do this? An accidental R two click. That wasn't enough to undo it. There we go. Let's see now. if it worked. Okay. There we go. Let's get the rest of me in there. Entrance to the back room. Oh. And the end of our split world segment. I'll never get used to this. Nope. Doesn't work. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Okay, I know how this works. Okay, so we have the I red three light. liquids to develop the photo. But we don't have any of the liquids. Well, that's one. We have one of the liquids. Two more to go. I could sense oh, something really stirring something behind circle. that symbol, like a gust of wind moving a curtain. It's getting stronger. I can feel it seeping through, creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. I won't let it, even if it means... No. I'll find another way. Do people actually write like that? Like, I can see that being a line of thought, but I'm not sure you'd write it like that. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. Oh, I just realized they could have done this with the books in the hallway. Maybe we would have found some more echoes. Gradually piece together the <gasps> Hope he's not story using it of his as a life. Textbook. Hammer of witches.
And we found our multi braid. I think we only have one liquid left to find. This should come in handy. Yeah, we're still missing one liquid. Where is it hiding? Ah, in plain sight. Okay, that's all of them. Be a better assassin than me, that's for sure. Looks like there's a train missing. Okay, what order do I do them in? Stop, fixer, developer. Stop. Fixer. Developer. And I know that was a stupid order to put them in, but I had already put it in the wrong place right at the start. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Too soon. It needs to stay in longer. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, cutscene. Ah, it was her the whole time. She's the what culprit. The she did it. <laughs> Who's there? That's a spooky picture. What? What the fuck is this? It's her. Oh, we're in the spirit world again. Yes, hello, are you alright? Very tall things with wings. Ooh, he's a bit weird. I quite like his design though. <laughs> that end effect is weight. Okay, I guess we're running. Oh, no, don't, don't go the don't. wrong way. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh. Well, first encounter with Big Demon Man. Serious success. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's try this again, shall we? No, that I know what way I'm meant to run. Wait! Don't go! Oh god! Don't he really is quite here. disturbing. I don't like how tall he is. Hello! Make it! Let me try you all. Oh god! No! Don't worry. We just got it. I can't get to the front of your mouth. Uh. Don't we hold over again? It all ends in me! Oh. 
Okay, safe room. Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures. Shame you can't take multiple charges. <sighs> okay. What's next, I wonder? Oh, okay. We have a sneak mode. Gosh, there's a wide bit of path to sneak across. <laughs> Wait, so the monster is made of the bugs? I don't know that he should be able to see me there. No, you can't see me. Give away, sir. Even though he saw me just at the end there, he didn't actually get me. Not. Am I still back on him? What the fuck was that? I agree. Dethroned by the bees. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. Okay, we're back in the narrative segment. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing 
It was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This... ravenous. I felt lost. I came oh, yes. to me looking for answers, and man. all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I woke up with icy water in my veins. Uh, there's a problem. You got icy water in your veins and it's blood. There. To just That's get really up not very good for your heart. Until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Yeah, there's someone there. there. Mary and Or Okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that? Hello? Fine. Richard. Richard? No, the man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room. I like the idea that the spirit can communicate through. Are you trying to show the me radio. the way? Although I think that's happened in a lot of things. I mean, even in Silent Hill, the monsters made the radio go crazy. Ah, okay. Now we can go this way. Sadness is a little bit of Okay, we can't enter the day room. Right. It's currently chained. What now? So how do we unchain it? Oh, we follow the way the camera's naturally flowing. But what's over here? I keep seeing it in my dreams. The other place. Dust and death, as far as the eye can see. A feeling of nothingness tearing at my soul. I wake up choking. Feeling the dust burning in my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says there's no there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? It's very sarcastic writing. Family time. Holidays in the country. I like the old fashioned posters. I wonder if they were actually based on some real posters. First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me, in a way. Well, this place is a wonderful and atmospheric, if not dank and definitely not somewhere you'd want to explore. And somewhat dilapidated. Is that? Oh god, it's everywhere. How many people died here? Now, I know in media they often make blood red, but this blood must be years old at this point, given that the stories are quite old. So it wouldn't be red anymore. It'd be brown, right? Cool. 
need to find it here. Okay, that's even more blood to Marianne, but you're not going to comment on that one, I think. Investigate here. Ah, we go. Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My okay, but if you're Frank, I'm going to be John. I want to go. You can see how your statement complicates that, comrade. I've Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. Hmm. It's quite a, quite a good way to have uh, the idea that places have memories. The nurse, she did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed them. Is that really what you want us to put on? It's what I saw. The nurse. But how? Why? Hmm. That feels like a scapegoat for what really happened. I just can't help but get a bit hype when the music does like Silent Hill kind of cues and creeps back in after you find important information and stuff. It's something that not a lot of horror games do particularly well these days. But I think feel like Blooper Team really nailed it. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ah, uh, definitely didn't need to feel that. So, does she feel the memories, not just hear them? I'm guessing that's what she was implying there. There's a little bit of screen tearing and a little bit of frame rate stuttering. It's not the worst by any means, but it's a little bit off-putting sometimes. My dearest, I wish this was it, the moment I pluck up the courage to actually send this one. It seems so easy. Just throw it in the mailbox. Then why can't I? Someday, I promise. I love you with all my heart. I see, so he never actually sent any of his postcards. He just wrote them. a ominously long corridor. Oh, and another note. Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on. Said you needed time to sort things out. Said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters to keep writing. I know you never sent a single goddamn one. Family's doing good, Mr. Rukovich. I'll probably go home this next spring. Summer at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out on the snowdrift. I guess it's the least I can do. Good old Frank. Too scared to live. Too stubborn to die. Sometimes I feel guilty using you like this. But then I remember, I need all the help I can get. Are we to assume that's from Thomas, given that he was the... the manager? I guess so. What was that noise? Locked. Are those? Ah, bolt the bolt cutters. cutters. Might be useful. 
could have us into the room. Reach him. So, I guess we need to work out how to get them down. And what was this mirror? Oh! Hello, Sadness. Whoa! Sadness? How did you... Ah! Shit! Now we're following the ghostly orbs. Like they'll always have a story to tell. Anyone? That dog is pretty scary, but guys. I should listen to that. Ready or not. Um, that voice. Okay, so sadness was playing with other kids. Sorry. Creepy teddy bear. I think Bernard's voice action might be from might be in the Disgaea games. Sounded a bit like the Harl. Oh, okay, where's the ticket now? Back into the shower room. The cool toy tank. Nothing quite like being the bus of the joke. What is it? You want to show me something? Okay, he opened this locker. What the hell? It looked back at me. Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Oh. Yeah. There's lots of references to Alice the Looking Glass here. So I assume we're going through the mirror. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I'm more concerned for the fact that we can, can definitely hear the monster. Calling out to me. Her face get reflected in the window behind her <laughs> gave me a fright. <laughs> She's a giant version of her face on the glass because of the screen space reflection.
No, I may be poking fun at the graphics, but happened. the fit is good. Good stuff. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. It reminds me a lot, actually, of the game Black Mirror. It was like a resurrected old school uh, point and click adventure set in what Scotland. What is this place? Um, heck, I might even play through that on stream one day. It's not a long game. It's fun and spooky, and plays very similarly to this. What's happening? No! No, please, mommy! <laughs> well, I think that we'll go and investigate the poor child spirits who are stuck here in the next episode. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I hope I wasn't too boring. I will attempt to loosen up and uh, be more comedic? No, I won't force comedy. Uh, in part two. Um, part two will be on Wednesday at 7pm BST. So be there or be square. No, I'm really joking. Um, I would be very happy if you can tune in and watch part two on Wednesday. And until then, have a wonderful night or day, and I'll catch you then. <laughs>